Isn't it funny how the prefatory clause of the Constitution, uh, well, the Second Amendment to the Constitution has changed? And it has nothing to do with the NRA? Right? The operative clause has never changed. Heller versus D.C. has established that. So they have to argue two words in the prefatory clause. Regulate and militia. On the first hand, they've been arguing and still do, even though they're not keeping up with their own. It's changed. Continue to argue that the regulation clause means a well-regulated militia means the government can regulate what kinds of weapons you can own. That's an open admission to the operative clause of individual ownership. Now they've turned it to the militia aspect and are saying flat out that Heller got it wrong, which is not a hill that these people want to die on because the over-broadened aspect to the privacy clause, which is about to be crushed with Roe v. Wade, I wouldn't try and die on that fucking hill. They're now arguing that the militia clause means conscription into the military service, and only that, that's when you can own guns. But if you're going to argue that the regulatory clause is regulations as understood today, not in context of the amendment at all, you're not only admitting that gun ownership is an individual right, <clears throat> you are saying that if it's so conscripted to military service, on the one hand and on the other hand the government can regulate the kinds of guns you can have well then that means that we can have all the military style weapons that we want you've con you've confused the prefatory right clause <laughs> and the operative clause not us you did that in your attempt to gaslight and lie and lie and lie to the people Trying to get the younger generations to sign on to your fucking bullshit. We're not having it. Children in this fucking house ain't having it. <clears throat> Stop the fucking bullshit already. You know, as well as I do, that gun companies in this country nearly go back to as far as the founding... as private companies and you're certainly not going to sit there and tell me that on the one hand if it's for conscription into the militia which the National Guard is not because it was founded by the army it's a dual service enterprise those in the National Guard called up by the uh, individual state governors and can be called up by the president to serve overseas they just switch uniforms it's not the fucking militia the militia has never gone away. Read the several different militia acts and try to read the Second Amendment with a fucking brain. Okay? I'm doing a piss poor job of it uh, so far. Sorry. Scalia got it right. And I want to hear about this William Berger fucking... It's all the same shit. This is the only argument you got. William Berger, conservative Supreme Court justice. Oh, fuck the Second Amendment. And, uh, you know, what, what the biggest fraud perpetrated against the American people. And Scalia saying, oh, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not a totality, you know. Nobody said it was. Nobody said that it's just a, you know, a license. Nobody said that. You do. You people fucking say it. 
I mean, <clears throat> it's got nothing to do with me. But you like to lay claim the blame and the guilt onto us about school shooters that have nothing to do with us. Like, should I turn myself into the cops because of what happened in Texas? No, but we got to pay for your fucking abortions and you are actively killing children. You people that say this are the fucking hypocrites. You actively card-carrying child murderers. That's what you are. Fucking bar none. You are card-carrying child murderers. And we have to fucking subsidize that. And I guarantee you it's a lot more than $50. What did I see that dumb motherfucker? What's his fucking name? Seth Myers? Talking about the gun buyback program in New York? They're giving out $50 gas cards. Oh, Oh, everybody should fucking, everybody wants to fucking applaud it, yeah. Every, I want that, yeah. No. And what's a buyback? I didn't buy my guns from the state government or the federal government. What are you buying back, motherfuckers? You didn't own it in the first place. These are private companies that make the same guns provided to us that they make for the fucking military. What are you buying back? $50? You start paying costs, I guarantee you get a lot more guns off the streets. Oh, oops. Those non-gun owners out there, the people that hate guns, they don't want to fucking pay that through their taxes, do they? Because where do you get your money from? Us. So you're going to fucking charge us money to fucking kill babies in the womb? Go fuck yourselves. How's that? How's that? Go fuck yourselves. I don't give a shit about dead kids in a school. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't affect me whatsoever. I don't care. You're not touching our fucking gun rights. And the moment you do, holy shit, just wait and see what happens. Just wait and see. Open the books. Open an Article 5, see what happens. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> We're not trying to take your guns, but uh, isn't Australia such a wonderful example of uh, gun confiscation? Same sentence, same morons, same idiots, same preface, same tired old bullshit. <laughs> Gun companies go back to the beginning. Colt, Smith & Wesson, all the way back to the beginning. What do you mean it is about conscription into the militia? That's it? Really? Those companies go all the way back. And many of the founding fathers lived long enough to actually see the change in firearm technology. Not to mention the cowboy era. Although they couldn't carry guns into town, <clears throat> they were not bereft of their fucking firearms. The sheriffs did not go home to home to confiscate guns, did they? No. You just couldn't carry into town. The same towns that had the gun shops that sold the guns. Where do you think all these Colt six shooters came from? They just fell out of the fucking sky? Conscription into military service, yeah? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me hit you with another one. 2008 is the first time. Really the first time the Second Amendment ever hit the docket at the Supreme Court. Why do you think that is? Well, they'll tell you it's because the NRA has spent millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars over decades. Waited for a conservative Supreme Court to then just change the definition of the Second Amendment. No. The Second Amendment was so pervasively and concretely understood in its meaning that there never had to be a case brought before the Supreme Court to establish what it meant. Because the federal government and the state local governments throughout the nation started just passing egregious unconstitutional laws against guns that eventually it had to be brought to the Supreme Court that just so happened to happen in 2008 with Heller versus D.C. All the ranchers, all of the wranglers, ranch hands, 
cattle herders in the past throughout this entire nation who shot and killed coyotes, shot and killed people, ending up on their private property. You don't, there were never stories of people being hauled into fucking court getting charged with murdering people when they claimed self-defense using firearms that supposedly were only supposed to be given out to people in the conscription of militia service? It's, otherwise, you would have seen SCOTUS cases going way far back then. But you didn't, because the Second Amendment was well understood. Don't fuck with us. You're stupid. And I know you're not really talking to us. You're trying to get to the younger generation. I get it. You're not going to. I'm teaching these kids in this house. And so are my friends. I teach their kids what the Second Amendment means and what it really means. Why it's really there. You know the Massachusetts State Constitution, 1790? Literally says, the right of the people to keep and bear arms in common defense. Common defense. 1790, the first Senate convened. They wanted those words specifically for common defense added to the Federal Constitution Second Amendment. It was voted down. That negates any <laughs> argument at all that the Founding Fathers' original intent for the Second Amendment was a militia-centric right. They could have just as easily added those words, common defense, and anybody, and everybody knows what that means. They didn't do it. Why? Because it, it wasn't about the prefatory clause in the Second Amendment. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Those words, by the way, being found nowhere else in the entire Bill of Rights at all. You lose. Try and make a fucking move. Just try.